Hi, my name is Simon. On rainy days especially, we watch Frankie, Chevy, and Diesel on TJV. Sometimes we watch Josh too. Good morning, everybody. We're finally getting the truck back today. At least we hope so. <laughs> I'm just gonna show up. I told them I'm gonna show up there at three. They said that the truck should be done today by the end of the day. I said, okay, I'm showing up there at three. I need this truck back today because my load needs to get moving because I can't leave tomorrow. I have to leave tonight. Otherwise everything dominoes and there's a whole lot more people affected than just me. So if they can't get it out, I mean like, they can't do the impossible. But apparently it was just a wiring issue they were working working on now with my ABS. There's apparently a power wire that disconnected somewhere. So they should have been able to finish that this afternoon. So I told them I'll be there at three o'clock and we can settle the invoice and we'll be off. And they said, okay, we'll see you then. Well guys, we got her back. Got her back, right, Diesel? We are ready to rock and roll. We gotta quickly hook up and go, man. We gotta go, man. We're late. We're actually not late, late, but later than we want it to be, for sure. So we got our trailer behind us. Just gotta roll up the landing gear, hook everything up, air and the lights, and we're set to go. Let's try to get down to Fargo, North Dakota tonight yet. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood, whatever you gotta do, let's go. It's gonna be a night ride. Sun's gone down already. Can't go anywhere without getting our bean to cup coffee. I know you guys are tired of hearing about it already. I've seen your comments. That's okay. You haven't tried it yet. <laughs> I'm so surprised that there's so much parking available here. I really thought that this place would be packed every night because it's right on the main road coming into Manitoba from the US. Everybody still prefers to go and park at Headingley. At least, they, at least you know there's always room to park here if you're looking for parking. I'm not getting fuel or anything. I'm just going to go and get some coffee. I don't know how far we're going to get. I was up pretty early today, so... I mean, Fargo is probably about the furthest. We'll go. I wouldn't mind getting a truck wash there. I really need one of those. So some good news is that uh, it turned out I didn't need new batteries after all. The batteries I have are perfectly fine. They tested them all and they were all still, still good to go. The problem was there was some corrosion on my battery connectors by the batteries. So the batteries weren't receiving a full charge and if they were fully charged, they weren't sending out a full signal. You know what I mean? So they cleaned that all off, got rid of the corrosion, and now these batteries are like, look at this, look at this. You remember how my truck used to uh, sort of uh, lag a little bit? I, I read your comments. You said, oh, if my truck turned over that slowly, oh, I'd have that checked out or something, right? Check this out. Look how strong these batteries are now. Okay, we're gonna let this thing do its thing again. All right, and let this thing do its thing again. Watch this. That's how it's supposed to sound, right? So I'm really happy about that. It's good news. Glad I didn't have to buy four new batteries. They're expensive. So the total bill, oh, we gotta go over that with you yet. Maybe we'll do that at the end of the day once we're done today. We gotta, we gotta get moving here. The total bill was $3,070 altogether. Uh, we can add up everything that they did. That's including the new windshield and uh, We'll go over it later. Let's get on the road before we get too much more tired. I want to be able to make it to Fargo at least. I'm feeling fine right now, but I know me. I know me. A couple of hours from now down the road, I'm going to have this coffee. A couple of hours from now, it's going to wear off. And I'm going to start feeling like, all right, time to pull this thing over, trucker Josh. Right, Diesel? I know me better than the government knows me. So, I know when to pull over for night. Let's get going, though. Here, let's put you guys back in your little holy holder here. See, no more crack. No more crack. It's a beautiful windshield. 
From that side all the way to this side. It's a big one, okay? This windshield itself is $400. Just, just the window. Yep. Put you back there. Let's rock and roll. Roll and rock. Woo! Night diesel, you excited? I'm excited to be back on the road. I'm always excited to get on the road. Sad to leave home, sad to leave my wife and family. Something about the road, man. Oh boy, I'm not gonna need that much. Give me about four hours, I'll be good. Time is now 8.30, 8.30, 9.30, 30, 11.30. Eh, three hours. Three hours and I think I'll be done. I'm gonna stop before midnight. I want to get as far as possible before then. I know it's dark. The camera doesn't pick up my, my headlights that well. I, I know. But those lights ahead of us there, that's the Canadian-US border. The lights I'm going to talk about right now are these flashing orange ones coming up here on our right. You see that? We're hoping that they stop flashing by the time we get there. That means the scale's open. Come on. Stop flashing. Stop flashing. Yeah, okay. Let's pull into the scale. Let's see what they want. So the scale's open. This is the scale on the Canadian side of the border. I don't know why they want to. Probably just want to make sure that all my stickers are valid. I've got a brand new safety sticker on my window for them to gaze at. If that's what they want to do. Fine. I just got a safety, fresh as can be. Go ahead, call me in and inspect me. You'll be wasting your time. So I would suggest you just let me go on through. I got some Americans that are waiting on me. They want my lumber. Brought it all the way down from Fort McMurray, Alberta. I don't want to keep them waiting. All right. Stop sign here. For Yield sign would work just as good, but stop we shall. I wonder what these guys want with me. What do you want? Why aren't you going home? It's late. Go home. So, they know I'm going to the US. They know I'm not going to be overweight for Canada. In 600 meters, turn right on 5th Street West. No, nah, no, nah, we gotta go talk to the, or pass by the good Ministry of Transportation motor carrier officers. Gotta let them gaze upon us, make sure that all of our stickers are good and valid. Make sure our license plates are valid. Make sure all my lights are working. Make sure my load is secured properly. Unlike that guy in Georgia. Do you guys see that? I post I posted it on my Facebook. You can find the link to my Facebook in the description below my videos. Posted the guy lost his load of lumber, right? Didn't have one strap on the load. His excuse to the DOT officers was, I thought it was heavy enough that it didn't need straps. <laughs> Is there anyone even in there? Oh, yeah. meters, keep to the right on King Street and then turn left in 50 meters. Oh yeah, they, they already flashed me for the next axle, so. All right, there we go. There's my steers. Looking nice, right? Looking nice, you seeing my nice fresh safety sticker? Yeah, there you go, there you go. You happy with that too? Slowly roll on through here, give you my trailer axles. Let you see my license plate and the green light. Thank you so much. I told you you were wasting your time with me. You should have just let me go on past. But thank you for the green light. I appreciate it. We gotta be a little careful. For some reason, it's raining. It's minus seven Celsius out here. It's seven degrees below freezing. And it's raining. Which means when it hits the pavement, it turns to ice. So let's be careful. It's turning to ice on my windshield. <laughs> We're here in Fargo, North Dakota. This is where we're gonna call it a night. By the time we wake up tomorrow, hopefully they will have sprayed some uh, stuff on the roads to make it less slick. For now, let's go find a safe place to park. Oh wow, I'm 
just spinning just trying to get up this hill here. <laughs> it's not even a hill, it's a bridge. It's an overpass. Easy. Easy on the way down on the other side. 100 meters. Take the entrance to the ride on by 29 North US 81 North. Hold on now. Hold on. We're just going to go to the Stay Mart here and hopefully they'll have some parking. Usually when the weather's like this, the parking's fuller than it usually is. You wait there, buddy. You got a yield. You wait there. So you got a red light. That's even more. More than a yield. Easy does it. Put, 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 put. It's not as slippery as I'm making it sound. It's mostly just wet on the pavement, but I don't really want to risk it. Could be icy sections all of a sudden. It seems like they've put some chemicals down on the road to melt the ice. I noticed that the U.S. uses chemicals on their roads more than salt in, a, in some places, from what I've noticed anyways. I might be wrong, but that's what I've noticed. In Canada, we just use old-fashioned salt. The chemicals down here, I'm, I heard, eat away at your truck. So you want to wash your truck after driving on these things, or on this stuff. We'll get a truck wash tomorrow morning. For now, let's just find a safe place to park. How do I get in here? The Stay Mart on the north side of Fargo. Meters, turn left on Seventh Avenue North. No, no, no. We're gonna go and park in here. Looks like there's lots of parking available. That's good. That's good. Or maybe I'm wrong. Look at that. You can see the fog. Well, it looks like fog coming off of that. Uh, the the yard lights here. That's not actually fog. That's rain like a mist. Oh, it looked like there was lots of parking. Turns out, no, I'm wrong. There's, it's all full here, okay. All right, all right. Let's see, let's see. I will find a parking spot and I'll check in with you guys on some, once I got the brakes pulled. Nice lights. Nice look at the trucks. Very nice. Yes, look at this guy took up two spots. Douche. Douche. Two spots. Not very nice. Oh, this guy, this guy, someone parked a house here. <laughs> Anybody order a house? It's here in Fargo. Looks like it's on the way. There's a house at the truck stop. Still not seeing any parking. I'm coming in the wrong way to get into any of these spots. I should be facing the other way. Ah, man. Oh, this is all blindside backing. Every single one of these spots is a blindside spot. Why would they set up their parking lot like that? Every single one, blindside. Blindside, blindside. Why? I think I'm gonna go to the Flying J. Might putt down the street to there. Everything's a blindside back. Well, everybody, we had to go down the road to Flying J to find a parking spot because everyone was just parked every which way over at the Staymart on the north end of town. The good news is that the roads weren't as slippery as I had thought. I got back on them and I was going to slowly putt over to Flying J. I don't know if they had just salted them recently or while well, I was at the Staymart there, but they got on there and they were actually pretty good. So. so we did make it down to this Flying J here. It's just the next morning. I just grabbed some fuel and I'm ready to start the next day. So I hope you'll join me tomorrow. There'll be another video. Don't forget to subscribe. Click one of the videos around the screen here if they show up. It'll take you to yesterday's video and another video that you might be interested in on my channel. Don't forget to hit that middle button with me and the cowboy hat there. That'll make you that that that'll bring you to the subscribe page. That that's the most important page. Don't forget to subscribe.